Rajaraja the Great, born a Rulmali Barman, was the Chola emperor who was one of the greatest ever Indian kings, and the most powerful king during his reign. He turned a small kingdom into one of the dominant empires in South India, and ensuing Chola supremacy across the Indian Ocean. His extensive empire included the regions of the Pandya, Chera, and northern Sri Lanka in the south, and Kalinga in the northeast. He fought many battles with Chalakyas in north, and Pandyas in the south. He was a fierce warrior, a brilliant architect, and a great philanthropist. Rajaraja was born as a Rulmali Varman to Parantaka and Vanaban Mahadevi. He had an elder brother, Aditya Karakalan, and an elder sister Kundavai. A long time ago, Rajaraja's grandfathers were Gandharaditya and Aranjaya, and Gandharaditya ruled the Chola Empire, but was childless until a very late age. So he chooses his brother Aranjaya as his successor, but after some time, he had a child named Uttama Chola. Aranjaya was succeeded by his son Parantaka instead of Uttama Chola, who should be made as king, as he has the right to throne. Parantaka declared his son Aditya Karakalan as heir apparent, but was assassinated by Veera Pandya supporters, as Veera Pandya was killed by Aditya in a battle. As Aditya was dead, Uttama Chola forced Parantaka to declare him as his successor. Even Rajaraja didn't protest, to avoid the civil war. After the death of Uttama Chola, Rajaraja ascended the throne, known as Aramoli Varman until this point, he adopted the name Rajaraja, which literally means, king among kings. At the time of his ascension, Chola kingdom was relatively small, and was still recovering from the Rashtrakuta invasions, and the boundaries were limited to the traditional Chola territory. Rajaraja turned it into an efficiently administered empire, which possessed a powerful army and a strong navy. Rajaraja Chola's first ever military campaign occurred, when he decided to attack Chera Empire. The king of Chera Empire at that time was Bhaskara Ravi Varman. This battle between Rajaraja and Cheras was fought at a port town of Kandalur Salai. The Pandyas and Sinhalas allied with Cheras against Cholas. This was a naval battle and fought for five years. Rajaraja destroyed numerous boats and ships, and won the war. The Kandalur War is often regarded as the first military achievement. In 993, Rajaraja invaded Sri Lanka. The invasion happened during the reign of Mahinda V, who fled to Ruhuna in southeastern Sri Lanka, because of a military uprising. The Chola army sacked Anuradhapura and captured the northern half of Sri Lanka. The Cholas established a provincial capital, at the military outpost of Polonarua, naming it Janatha Mangalam. Rajaraja's son Rajendra Chola completed the Chola conquest of Sri Lanka. They controlled Sri Lanka until 1070, when Vijayabahu defeated and expelled them. In 998, Rajaraja invaded the Ganga country, conquering Gangapadi and Nurambapadi, which formed present Karnataka state. The invasion proved a complete success, and the entire Ganga country came under the Chola rule. From that time, Chalakyas became the main antagonist of Cholas in the northwest. In 996, Satyasya became the new Chalakyan king and the conquest of Gangapadi and Nulambapadi brought the Cholas into direct conflict with the Western Chalakyas. Both the Cholas and the Western Chalakyas had powerful and strong dynasties, they probably had been looking for an opportunity to measure their respective strength. Rajaraja led the Chola armies against the Western Chalakyas, the Chola army with 9,000 had looted the whole country, and the elephant wrought havoc on the banks of River Tungabhadra. Rajaraja failed to capture the western Chalakya capital Manyaketa. Even though feared by the strength and speed of the Chola advance, Satyasraya recovered, and by hard fighting, rolled back the invasion. Rajaraja aimed at capturing every province that had ever been held by his great-great-grandfather Parantaka I, and extend the empire still further, so he sent a northern expedition. Rajaraja invaded Vengi, and after many hard battles, he restored Saktavarman on the eastern Chalakya throne. Rajaraja Chola died around 1014, his tombstone is now in small village in Adyala. He was succeeded by his son Rajendra the Great, who expanded the empire to its greatest extent.